Wish him a happy birthday from us, won't you? And how's it going so far? Uh. Oh, we're having a wonderful time. They say happy birthday back in the studio, Jack. Thank He's, you, my dear. Thank you. He's already had his shot of whiskey. And luckily, we did get invited back today because hopefully Good Morning Britain made Mm, probably not quite as much, but nearly as much of an impression on Jack's family as he made on us. Because, look, you can see from his cards, uh, he's got one of Susanna's reaction uh, to him being amazing uh, and one of me basically laughing my head off for the entire morning. So we are now here on his birthday. Happy birthday, Jack. Thank you, my dear. And... In the case, quick. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not even my birthday. Um, how are you feeling about oh, the I feel a about the tattoo. Uh, well, I've never been a champion of uh, tattoos. I think it's a shame to interrupt your skin, beautiful skin. I do. So why are you doing but, it? Beg pardon? Why are you doing it then? Why I do it? Because uh, <laughs> I fell in with my family. All, it was all a wish right away through for me to do this year. And I, I th agreed with it. I agreed with it because I agree with anything that they put on me. And they're like... And uh, that's how it came about, and uh, it just caused a lot of excitement. <laughs> so the family wanted him to get a tattoo because they were worried he'd do something even worse <laughs> otherwise. So he's gone for it even though he doesn't really like them. And you can see he's clutching his dumbbells here uh, because you've gone for your arm. He's going to yeah, get the tattoo yeah. on his arm. Can I have a little feel of those muscles? Let me have a feel of that. That! I've been doing this all morning. I shouldn't say that, should I? But uh, he's got a huge muscle since last time we came uh, because he's been trying to make sure his biceps look all right for the tattoo. But um, it's all for a good cause. It's to raise money for a local hospice. But we're also hoping we can get Jack into the book of world records. But you would not believe this. It's not quite as easy as it sounds. There's a lot of evidence that we require, including a birth certificate. Uh, we also require a more up-to-date uh, form of identification, photo, photo identification. Two independent witness statements to confirm uh, his age. And we also require a full medical statement from a doctor to confirm that Jack has never had a tattoo. And trying to find all that for someone who's turning 104 has not been easy. Everyone's been involved, haven't they? Uh, but just in case we don't manage to get Jack into the Book of World Records, we've got a bit of a surprise for him. So can you do the honours for me, Harley? We have a very special surprise for you, Jack. Oh. We've got a surprise. It's I like surprises. Have a little look at this. This is your grandson, Harley. Oh. Oh. OK. Oh. Happy oh. birthday oh. to oh. you. Congratulations, Jack. I think, oh, Katie, is it... Uh, nice it, indeed. That one's beautiful. <laughs> it's oh, a oh, 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 she just stay on him? I'm to be 104 to get to the last person like this. Oh. Good. Well, thank you all. <laughs> you have to try and get you to <laughs> blow that out now. Well, about gunpowder. OK, can we get you to blow the candle out, do you think, Jack? Oh, blow. Yeah. That's 104 ooh, candles, ooh, ooh, yeah. ooh. I'll be Nice big blow here. after three. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Say, a shot of whiskey before yes, he you'll has. need it. I think maybe He's that's a trick a for you. I, that's yeah, a trick for you. You'll need it. I yeah, a you. shot of whiskey to feel lively at this time of the morning. Jack will be joining us again tomorrow uh, to show off his new ink. Yes. Uh, when he will officially, we hope, hold the title as the world's oldest person to have a tattoo. <laughs>